Hello, my name is Nathan Chitty, and I'm the founder of LinkCoaches.com. I help attorneys get LinkedIn to work for them so that they can get business from the people that they already know. Now, you attorneys out there, have you ever had these challenges about LinkedIn? You know you need a LinkedIn presence, but you don't know where to, to start and how to do it properly. Uh, you probably have what I would call a, uh, a say-nothing profile that just has very basic information uh, about you. Now, you've, you've heard about LinkedIn. You've heard that there's 100 million users on LinkedIn. Uh, there was a multi-billion dollar IPO last week that was all over the news. So, you know there's something to LinkedIn but where do you start? Uh, you don't want to look stupid, uh, and you don't want to be not with it as other uh, more um, forward-thinking attorneys are getting into using this presence uh, on LinkedIn. You know, I had, I had those same challenges a couple of years ago when I decided to, to join uh, LinkedIn. And so what I did was I began to study the information that's out there. Uh, and I found that what I was doing was all wrong. Uh, but thankfully, there's a lot of great advice out there about how to do it right. So I found a solution, and a uh, big surprise, the, the solution was on the Internet. Uh, I read ebooks. I watched webinars, I studied blogs uh, about LinkedIn to, you know, get up to speed about what I needed to do because, frankly, I was not doing it right. Over the years, I've always enjoyed helping people solve their kind of technology questions as, a, as really an a amateur. Now, uh, I became more experienced in LinkedIn, and I decided that, I'd create a LinkedIn club coaching product, and it was only uh, five weeks ago. In that time, I've gotten 18 clients, one attorney client, and I, and I have chosen now to specialize in serving the, the attorneys. One attorney in a two-week period got raised their number of uh, connections. First off, they, got, they went from having a do-nothing profile to a great profile, and they increased their first degree connections to 300 from about 150, so they double those, and they increased their second degree connections by over 10,000 connections. So I had I found that I could help someone increase their connections and their presence on LinkedIn that that really could use that really could use the help and assistance. That was very fulfilling. I've found that the old world just doesn't work anymore. And uh, I think a lot of people have experienced that. We have, we have a whole new world out there. And the, a lot of the techniques that we relied on in the past to communicate and to get business, they're just not working anymore, whether it's advertising, uh, whether it's face-to-face uh, -face networking. There's a lot of things that are not working anymore as in seminars, in-person seminars. There's a lot of things that aren't working uh, like, they, like they used to. Now, this, is a, then this new economy has brought about this change. And so my uh, advice to people is to embrace the new economy and to use tools like LinkedIn to, to get back to the basics of advancing their ability to help people and to connect and create relationships. Spell some, some myths out there that some people might have. Uh, it, it, Facebook and social media and LinkedIn is not just a fad. Uh, if, if it was a fad, uh, I don't believe in this environment Goldman Sachs would be putting a fifty billion dollar valuation uh, on Facebook. If it was a fad, uh, the LinkedIn IPO last week 
wouldn't come out at a four billion dollar uh, market value for a company with less than 200 million in in revenue. Uh, if it was a fad, there wouldn't be a hundred million people on LinkedIn today. It's it's not a fad, and we need to pay attention to this new opportunity to create relationships. So here is my framework. It takes place in three, three steps to get the attorney up to speed on LinkedIn. The first step is preparation, and that means understanding how, what should be said in your profile and the connections that you presently have, people you already know on LinkedIn. That's the first step. The second step is to implement a process to fix those things, to create the profile that really conveys what you can bring to your clients and to use your existing database to find out who you presently uh, communicate with through email that's on, that's on LinkedIn. And I'll tell you a surprise. You may be surprised, particularly that you attorneys who have been in business for a while, that you have many more people that are presently on LinkedIn that you uh, that you were not aware that it was that many. I had a client recently that had 800 business contacts in their email address who were already on LinkedIn. It's the it's the biggest number I've seen uh, by far. So then the third step is. Once you've done the profile, once you've seen the connections, once you have uh, made, uh, made those connections with those business contacts that you have, is to then take a further step and to uh, develop your, it's called rainmaking ability, your ability to get business with people you already know with the expertise that you presently pro progress, so possess, excuse me. So prepare implement and then follow up it's it's very simple and it's not surprising and it, and it also can be said that when you hear those three steps prepare implement and follow up it's really the same as a as the offline world but we're using a new tool to make this uh, needed uh, ability of rainmaking uh, part of our uh, of our ongoing ability to earn the income Now, let's go over some of the most common mistakes that people make uh, in approaching their, their LinkedIn presence. First off, your, your profile needs to communicate what you do for clients. Most commonly, I find uh, that the attorneys will list, oh, I'm a partner at so-and-so law firm, or I'm a shareholder. That's not what you do for clients. By saying right up front in your headline, it's called, what you do for clients. You're a specialist in wills and estates, real estate, uh, marital law, you know, family law, whatever the case might be. Saying right up front what, what it is. Now, your, your profile should have links to your more detailed website bio, whether it's a uh, tie-in to your firm website or whether it's a tie-in to your uh, Martindale Hubble directory. Uh, one of those. Now, your schools should be listed. You should create a, a vanity uh, URL. Uh, that's a short, uh, descri a short uh, uh, internet address that has your name in it instead of uh, letters and numbers, which is the default uh, setting. Now, your finally, your summary should say what it is that you do by your um, practice areas in paragraph form two, three, four paragraphs. Now, once you've done your great work on your profile, it doesn't, it, it, it does, it doesn't do as much good as it should if you don't implement a connection strategy. So avoid that mistake and implement a connection strategy that reaches out and sees who you know on LinkedIn and uh, on a selective basis issues, uh, con connection invitations to those people. Now, you've done a great profile, you've implemented a connection uh, strategy, don't forget your rainmaking skills because that's how you turn these, uh, this wonderful tool, this wonderful presence into income for you. Now, I'll give you one, one last tip. 
when you're doing, and this is the biggest thing you have to avoid, I, I think in terms of a major mistake, when you're doing your connections, LinkedIn will, on a default basis, ask you if you want to invite everybody you know. And for many attorneys, it can be a thousand people. And the last thing you want is to, by mistake, hit that invite all button and send out a thousand invitations. You're not prepared. Most of them aren't on LinkedIn. It's going to be, it's going to be a disaster. So please avoid that mistake. Let me conclude by saying the first thing that you should do. And it's actually, it's, it's two things. The first thing you should do is create a great LinkedIn profile that represents the talents that you, that you have and, the, and what you can do for your client. The second thing that you should do is to invite the people you already know who are on LinkedIn to be connections with you. So those are the first, that's the first thing that you should do is actually those two things. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. Uh, I hope you have a nice day and a nice weekend.